the top story we're tracking right now. Pakistan is facing a lot of flack for the treatment that was meted out to the mother and wife of Kulbhushan Jadav. After the Pakistani media humiliated Mr. Jadav's family, now the Pakistani Foreign Office has sent a message to all the journalists thanking them for their support. Let's first show you what exactly the Pakistani media did when Mr. Jadav's family emerged after that meeting with Kulbhushan Jadav. And now the Pakistani Foreign Office has lauded the media for their support. Let me read out the message that it sent out to all the journalists. Ex quote, extremely glad to have worked with a team of responsible media. Very much thankful for cooperation and tolerance from all of you today. Hats off to a great teamwork on both sides and you may all see the result. Our media has made Dr. Faisal trending on Twitter. Let's keep this mutual coordination and respect for all the times and events to come. End quote. Let me go across to my colleague, Beyond Senior Correspondent, uh, Raghavendra Rao, who's joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, Raghavendra, I don't want to dignify the comments uh, made by some of those quote-unquote journalists towards uh, Mr. Jadav's uh, family by repeating them. But the fact that the Pakistani Foreign Office, which is often at loggerheads with the media, has come out to laud them is just, uh, I mean, it's beyond surprising. It's almost uh, a mockery of the entire incident. Indeed, Aisha, and it also lays bare the fact that this entire uh, heckling which the Pakistani media subjected uh, uh, the wife and mother of Kulbushan Jadav to, it was clearly orchestrated. It was something which was done in cahoots with the Pakistani establishment and the manner in which uh, the wife and mother of Kulbushan Jadhav were made to wait uh, for their vehicle outside the Pakistani Foreign Office. There was a delay which, was, uh, which appears to be very deliberate in nature. Uh, the manner in which India's Deputy High Commissioner was exasperated at uh, you know, that delay which made them stand there for a while. That was the window which offered the Pakistani journalists the opportunity to uh, throw those questions at uh, the mother and wife of Kulbushan Jadhav. Uh, indeed, uh, you know, we, we really not, need not dignify what all was said by repeating it again and again. But to say the least, uh, it, it, was, it, it was in uh, very bad taste the kind of things some of the Pakistani journalists shouted at the mother of Kulbushan Jadhav. Right. And now in hindsight and, you know, the, the way the things have uh, uh, emerged, it is increasingly clear that the media was there. Uh, for a purpose. Uh, they were in cahoots with the Pakistani establishment and all of this was clearly orchestrated. Absolutely. In fact, uh, that statement itself seems to say it all. It uh, says hats off to a great teamwork on both sides and you may all see the result. Our media has made Dr. Faisal trending on Twitter. I mean, uh, that's hardly a, a goal for uh, anyone. Uh, it, it's, it's rather unbecoming of uh, you know, the Foreign Office to be issuing statements like this. And um, in some ways, uh, Raghavendra, this only uh, further solidifies India's stance that this was a, a PR exercise and a badly conducted one at that because uh, uh, his wife and mother, Mr. Jada's wife and mother, even had to wait for a long time uh, to finally leave the Foreign Office. Absolutely. And as I mentioned, you know, the manner in which Pakistan went about, uh, uh, you know, facilitating this particular meeting, uh, for them, it was nothing more but a PR exercise. They wanted to create a PR spectacle out of that. They are very well aware that uh, they are on a sticky wicket uh, before the International Court of Justice. And uh, this so-called humanitarian gesture, this concession uh, which they offered to the Indian side was meant to be a PR exercise so as to strengthen their case before the ICJ. But the manner in which it has been conducted, uh, the manner in which now uh, you know Indian authorities have come out with more uh, uh, details of that meeting, the manner in which uh, the wife and mother of Kulbushan Jadav were made to change their attire, the manner in which their Mangal Sutra, bangles and bindis were taken off, even the shoes of Kulbushan Jadav's wife were taken off and not even returned. 
uh, clearly, uh, it, if it was meant to be a PR exercise on their part, uh, they have committed, uh, they've made a disaster out of it. Absolutely. Stay with me, Raghavendra. For our viewers who are just joining in, uh, Pakistan, remember, is facing a great deal of flack for the way it treated Kulbushan Jadav's wife and mother when they went to Islamabad to meet uh, the incarcerated Indian national. After the Pakistani media humiliated uh, Mr. Jadav's family, now the Pakistani Foreign Office has sent out a message to all journalists gathered there, um, thanking them for their support. First, let's show you what exactly the Pakistani media did when Mr. Jadav's family emerged from that meeting. <laughs> And now the Pakistani Foreign Office has uh, applauded the Pakistani media for its support. Here's the message that the Foreign Office sent out to the journalists. Quote, extremely glad to have worked with a team of responsible media. Very much thankful for cooperation and tolerance from all of you today. Hats off to a great teamwork on both sides and you may all see the result. Our media has made Dr. Faisal trending on Twitter. Let's keep this mutual coordination and respect for all the times and events to come. End quote. I'm quoting them directly. Uh, let me go back to Raghavendra Rao on that note. We on senior correspondent who's with us from the newsroom. Uh, big picture though, Raghavendra, looking at uh, you know this situation, it's already a very tense one between India and Pakistan. Do these events and uh, only vitiate the environment furthermore? And how exactly do you think India is going to negotiate uh, going ahead as far as Mr. Uh, Jadav's case goes? Well, clearly, I mean, uh, this particular episode has further soured uh, the relations between both the countries. Uh, for Indian side, the only plus from this entire meeting is that after uh, almost 20 months, we finally got a visual or an image of uh, Kulbushan Jadav. The fact that his mother and wife could meet him, have a conversation with him. Uh, just, just the solace that he is fine, his uh, well-being uh, is now known. Uh, that is the only solace uh, probably his family can take away from that meeting. Uh, but yes, so the Indian strategy uh, from now on, as has been in the past also, is that uh, the basic uh, uh, bone of contention between India and Pakistan so far on this case has been the grant of consular access, which has not been granted. Now, we must also remember the fact that uh, a day before this meeting was to happen, the Pakistani media started uh, calling it uh, a consular access, which later was subsequently, uh, you know, it was clarified by the Pakistan Foreign Ministry spokesperson that this was not a consular access. So India would again be pressing for consular access because uh, India's case before the ICJ primarily rests on the fact that uh, an Indian national has been arrested, uh, tried in a secret military court, and has been convicted and uh, was was to be executed uh, as per Pakistani law uh, when India decided to escalate the matter, matter to the ICJ. But all during his uh, captivity in Pakistan, the consular access has not been granted. This is something which the Indian side would be making a renewed effort for. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, it was the foreign minister himself who went ahead and called it a, a consular access meeting, which uh, then the foreign office had to scramble to uh, deny. We leave it at that. Raghavendra Rao, thanks very much uh, for joining us. There's been, of course, a, a ruckus even in India's parliament over this entire uh, issue regarding the jailed Indian Kulbhushan Jadav, whose mother and wife met him in Islamabad on Monday. The entire exercise was designed by Pakistan to humiliate and intimidate the Jadav family.